take this cover off. There's push pins right here. You just push on the center and then lift up on the pin. It slides out. Take this one out also. And the last one over here. Slide this cover up and out of the way. Take these bolts out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these two push pins out on the side here. Just use a trim tool or some push pin pliers. Slide those out. There's one in the center here. Take this one out. And then the other two on the other side as well. All these other ones can stay. Underneath, there's a push pin right in the center. Just use a trim tool. Slide that out. And we have bolts holding it in. You want to take those bolts out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And take this shield down. Take this clip out here. And there's a clip over here. Take that clip off. This can move pretty freely. Do the same on the other side. Disconnect the fog light connector. A little tab right there, just pushing that button. Sometimes you need a pocket screwdriver underneath to release it. Pop that off. Use a trim tool, get underneath here. The retainer where the wire is. Just try to pop that off. Just like that. Do the same to the other side. On the driver's side, there is another retainer for the wire. So you want to take that off as well. Take this pin out right here. You can use a straight blade screwdriver. Just try to get underneath this. Twist it to the side. It's kind of like a push pin. and just pops right out. That should pop off. Then take this 10 millimeter bolt out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And grab this side. Just give it a slight tug. And then you can do the same on the other side. And slide this out. There's a wire connected. You just use some needle nose pliers. Push this in. Same with the other side. Then use some trim tools. You can pop these off. and separate the bumper. There's the push pin right here. I'm gonna take that off, pop that out. And then there's a clip right here. So you push on this clip down here with a small screwdriver and then it slides back. And then underneath, there's another clip. Slide under that clip, pry that out. And the whole light assembly slides out. Now I'm gonna hold the emblem from the front side and use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take these screws out. And actually it's clipped in, so you can just push on those clips and it slides right out. Now I take the emblem, line it up. Lock it in place. Take the two screws, get those started. And just snug them down. 
And I just slide this in place, line it up, slips on. Get it to lock in place. Take the push pin. And lock it down. Now get the bumper ready to slide on. Take the wiring harness. Push the retainers in place. You can plug the fog lights in. The same on this side. And carefully line this up. Clip it in, do the same on the other side. Now slide the inner fender well in place. It goes in that clip. Then you can put this plastic retainer in there. Just push it in and twist it. Should clip in place. And take the screw that goes right there. Get that started and tighten it down. Do the same on the other side. Now slide this shield in place and get the bolt started. push pins or bolts, get those started and tighten those down. And all the push pins. Now put the screws in up top, get those started. Snug those down. Now put these push pins in. Lock them down in place. This one that goes right there. Lock that down. And put the cover on. These other push pins, you have to reset the push pin. So push from the back side up so that it pops up like that. Line it up. If you twist it a little bit, it makes it going in a little easier. And then push it down so it's flush. Do that with the other ones.